In this video, we will show you how to set the travel limits and force control for your opener. Please be aware this video is only meant to be a visual aid to help you understand the installation of your opener. It is not meant to be a substitute for the operation and maintenance manual that came with your new opener. Please refer to the manual for complete detailed instructions and warning notices. Warning: A moving door can cause serious injury or death. Keep people clear of the door as it moves and do not allow children to play with the keypad, wall console, or remote controls. You should review the manual for other specific safety points before proceeding with installation. Also keep in mind these additional points when setting the travel limits. Do not operate this unit from the wall console before limits are set. Severe damage to the opener can occur. Do not set the limits with the battery backup attached if your opener is equipped with one. You have 30 seconds to execute each step. If you see two red illuminated LEDs on the power head, you have run out of time and the step must be restarted. You can restart as many times as necessary. Do not operate this unit from the wall console before limits are set. Severe damage to the opener can occur. Keep in mind there are two triangular buttons for the down and up limits. The down arrow button is the one pointing toward the door with a minus sign by it, while the up arrow button is the one pointing away from the door and has a plus sign by it. Step 1. Setting the down limit. First, lift the door by hand until the carriage engages the turnbuckle on the belt or chain. Press and hold the down arrow button for two seconds until the long LED comes on blue. Note that the round LED remains off. Release the down arrow button and the long LED will begin flashing. Press and hold the down arrow button until the garage door is fully closed on the floor. Then release. If the door goes too far, press and release the up button, which has the plus symbol, to move the door slightly. The door should rest tightly on the floor. Press and release the program set button. Both LEDs will flash blue and go off. The down or close limit is now programmed. Step 2. Setting the up limit. It is recommended to have the door closed for this step. Press and hold the up arrow button for two seconds until the long LED light comes on blue. The round LED light remains off. Release the up arrow button and the round LED will begin flashing blue. Press and hold the up arrow button until the door is fully open, then release. Watch the carriage as it approaches to avoid having it contact the unit. If it has gone too far, press and release the down button, which has the minus sign next to it, to move the door down slightly. Press and release the square program set button. Both LEDs will flash blue and then go off. The up or open limit setting is now programmed. This completes the travel limit programming. Step 3. Setting the force control. The door must complete one full cycle from fully open to fully closed in order to set the force control. Simply open and close your garage door by pressing the wall console open close button to complete both steps. The force control is now set. Step 4. Contact reverse test. Please note, the travel limits and force settings must be completed before performing the contact reverse test. With the garage door open, lay a 2x4 piece of wood flat on the floor at the center of the door opening. Close the garage door using the wall console. When the door contacts the board, 
it should stop and reverse direction within two seconds to the fully open position. The long LED light on the power head will begin to flash red with the reversal of the door. Remove the 2x4 board after a successful contact reversal test. The next cycle will clear the flashing red LED.